can't imagine what this kid is feeling growing up. And, of course, in the street, I get a sag. Oh, gas it all. I pretend I'm him. Yeah. How do you... To play for your I can't even team. imagine. It's yeah. it, I can't even. It doesn't even enter my space. Well, you know, I always wanted to be a Redskin, who are now the Commanders, but I always wanted to play for Washington because that was my like my favorite team growing up. But it wasn't like I went to Washington games. You know, it's not you like went were, to the one with Ron that you told went me, to right? One, but yeah. we were like fifteen. You know what I mean? And my aunt had tickets, and so she gave them to us and dropped us off and then picked us up at the end of it. Yeah, that's not happening anymore. <laughs> Dropping no, off the kids no, at that age and no, seeing four no, hours. Exactly. Not a, not <laughs> a chance. But. It wasn't like they were in my backyard. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the Jets yeah. were in his backyard. Right dude. there. That's, that's they practiced just, right there. That is, that's awesome. That's it's amazing. incredible. And this kid's good. Yeah. You know, it's not like it. And listen, the Crebet story was, and Crebet's my all time favorite Jet. But Crebet, when, you know, yeah, this little guy, this little yeah. white guy from, yeah. Yeah, throw him yeah. a bone. Maybe, maybe we'll sell a few extra tickets to a summer game, you know. <laughs> and then he starts like 12th on the depth chart. Then he's 11th. Then he's 10th. Mm. Then he's 8th. Then he's 5th. Then he's starting, basically. That's right. And then he becomes an all time jet. And one of the, you know, if he didn't have the concussions, man, his numbers would have been even better. Love number 80. But uh, Ruckert comes with legitimate fanfare, unlike Wayne. This kid's an Ohio State Buckeye, started for a couple of years. Yeah. His numbers are incredible. He's a great blocker. Like, this kid's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be fun for him and his family. Which is, we played the sound earlier with him going crazy, doing the right. Jets uh, the Jets chant, the J-E-T-H uh, Jets chant when, when he got drafted. You know, it's funny because I remember, you know, I saw him play. But then I also just just reading the the research on him because the Giants needed a tight end as well, um, just like the Jets did. But they handled it in free agency as well as in the draft. But you know, one of the things that you kept hearing about Jeremy Ruckert is that he was going to be one of those sleepers. Like someone's going to take him, and then they're going to be so surprised by how good he is. And we and for a Jet, you hope that that's the case. Yeah, a big motor. I mean, that's one of the uh, scout part of the scout report. Kid pl- never takes a snap off and. I don't think it's a surprise. I want to play this again for you before we actually welcome him into the show. This was the other night. Draft the third round. Gets the call for the Jets. The whole Rucker crew finds out that their boy, their son, is staying home playing for the Jets. And as somebody who, you know, had season tickets back in the day and and would scream at the top of my lungs doing that chant, you can distinguish between, you know, a Jets chant where they're, all right, couple of Jets, I mean, and then the real (laughs) fan, the way it comes from the bottom of the belly, like the rage, the excitement, everything rolled into one. It's guttural. (laughs) Yes, that's what I was looking for. It is real. Jeremy Ruckert, one of the newest Jets, Buckeye, Long Island kid, Lindenhurst is on us, uh, on the fan with us here on Tiki and Tierney, Jeremy, first of all, congratulations on uh, being picked by your team, and welcome to our show for the first time. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, man. What What has the last week been like for you? Uh, it's been crazy. Uh, it doesn't really feel real yet, but um, like you guys said, it's been a dream of a long time to, to be where I'm at right now, so just trying to do whatever I can to be successful throughout this this journey and, and get right to work. Yeah, did you have any indication that the Jets were going to be the team that, that took you? Had they communicated with you? Did they say, look, we want you? How did that How did that all go down? Yeah, I mean, um, going into it, you know, you got, your agent has these teams that, you know, be, be on a lookout for, be on a lookout for a call. They could, they could like you here. They could like you there. But uh, honestly, the Jets um, weren't one of the teams that he had on there. We knew that they liked me throughout the whole process. I played with them at the Senior Bowl. I had a bunch of meetings with them. I, I had a visit with them, but um, we actually di- didn't really have an idea they were going to call at that specific time, so it was, it was great to hear that. It caught me by surprise and uh, after a long night of waiting. Uh, I couldn't think of a better way to end it. Yeah, how many did you? How many games did you go to? I was talking to BT before you came on about me and my brother grew up Redskins fan, and we only went to one game. We were teenagers. How many games did you go to when you were, when you were young uh, to, for the Jets? We used to go to games all the time. Um, you know, like I said, my dad was a lifelong fan. Um, he had a big Jets logo on his white Ram pickup truck right in the hood. And uh, <laughs> we'd, go, we'd go to one or two, uh, a few games a year, whatever we could swing. And um, growing up, we'd go to a bunch of games right in the, in the old middle ends. And, um, it was amazing, you know, being young, going to watch those games, having something to root for, seeing how much my dad loved it. And um, as we got older and as I got off to college, uh, not really as much as we used to, but um, – we're gonna be on. They're gonna be on a lot of games now. Oh, you think? By the way, what's your pops do for a living? I I don't know what he does. 
Yeah, so when we grew up, uh, my grandpa was a mason, so I uh, used to lay brick and, and pour cement and stuff, and he did that uh, for the first uh, first half of my life, I'd say. And then he uh, got a CDL now. He's a operating engineer and drives a truck for a yeah. company out here in Long Island. That's where the work ethic comes from. So let's go to Jeremy Rucker from Long Island, Lindenhurst, Buckeyes. Now, so I, I would imagine not only going to the games, but you went to Hofstra quite a bit, not being far from there when they were training there. I know it's a while ago now, but... What well, what's your earliest memory? Like, who was your first favorite Jet? Yeah, I think for me, um, when I really started to remember it, I think my favorite was was Darrell Rebus. That's when he started getting his prime. Uh, him, Nick Mangold, um, all of my dad's that was one of my dad's favorite players, Nick Mangold. But um, I think those two guys really stick out to me. Is that's when I first became a uh, I had a Curtis Martin jersey when I was little, but I didn't really get to yeah. appreciate how good he was, but. Um, that's his jersey I was wearing all those pictures when yeah. I was a little, little kid going around. I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to tell you, Jeremy, uh, you're making me feel old because those guys were – Curtis was my contemporary, and then the guys you were talking yeah. about were after me. So I'm like, geez, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now no, you're no, just no. coming into the league. Time's moving, T. It, it ain't stopping fast, for us. fast. I don't feel old, but I am old. Yeah. You know, yeah, Ruck, I mean, when you get here, like, what, what are Jets fans going to expect? I mean, I saw you play a couple times. I called some of your games uh, for national radio when you were at Ohio State, so I, I know what you're about. But for as a Jets – fan what can they expect from you yeah i think um first and so first and foremost someone that does everything with pride and with effort i am i'm a i'm not gonna get caught up in my numbers and and production and everything the only production i care about is doing whatever it takes for the team to win and then if that's running into someone full speed i'm gonna do that every play and i'm, a, I'm not gonna slow down the whole game i think that's what they're gonna get um they're gonna fall in love with that type of attitude that i bring bring to the game and um, no matter what what it comes down to, if the ball's in the air, I'm gonna go make the play. And if not, I gotta sit there being pass protection, or I gotta uh, be at the point of attack in the run game. No matter what I do, win or lose, I'm gonna go hard every single play. Yep. And for those who don't know, uh, your your blocking stats and your scouting report is is through the roof. I mean, you're a very accomplished blocker, and is one thing to want to stick your nose in there. It's another thing to be very good at it. <laughs> yeah. You happen to do both. What's your What was your first impression of of your new head coach? Mr. Clean, the yeah. bold bull. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, he brings a lot of juice. Uh, my first real time uh, being around it was at the Senior Bowl. Um, he had a little, we had a team meeting, and he walked in the room, and he instantly grabbed the room. You could tell he has a energy of, a, of, of players wanting to play for him, guys wanting to be around him. And uh, it was contagious. I mean, after after he got off the the stage in the meeting room, you kind of felt, felt you had some juice in your veins trying, trying to get going. And um, then once I got, I had a, a – there you visit over there so I visit with him and just the way they're going about business the way they're going about turning this team around it's just it's just exciting to see and now it's really exciting to just be around yeah no the uh, the jet staff had the senior bowl so they got some intimate knowledge with a lot of you guys and it's probably one of the reasons that you you stood out before we let you go here uh Jeremy you know CJ Stroud is an interesting player um he loved basketball as well as football yeah. I'm talking about the quarterback for those that don't know at Ohio yep. State who was Jeremy's uh, QB last year. He's likely coming out next year. He's likely going to be one of the top picks. There might be another team in New York Mm. that's interested in quarterbacks. The Bills are going to go get him? They're going to get rid of Josh? (laughs) No, no. (laughs) Uh, What can you tell us about that young man? Because he seems really impressive. I I didn't know what to expect from him because, you know, football was his kind of second love, if you know what I mean. And he he just balled. Uh, Tell us about C.J. Stroud a little bit for those that are interested in the college level and maybe those around New York that might be thinking about him next year. Yeah, I think um, as far as his his talent and his intangibles, you, we found that out as soon as he stepped on campus. Uh, Justin Fields obviously had a starter, but whenever we would have our workouts out in the off season and stuff, he'd come and he'd throw to us, and you could tell, wow, this kid he, he could be something special. But I think what really uh, separated him from from a lot of the other guys in his class, and and why I thought he was so great was his mentality and his composure. Um, early on in his career, he had uh, had some hiccups where it was it, it was his first time playing at Ohio, the first time starting the game new offense for him, new situations, and uh, just the growth that he had last season was just unbelievable. I think that um, as an older guy, being there, uh, helping him out with whatever he needed, I could just tell uh, as, as you sit back and take a look about how much he's grown throughout the season, he's just con- going to continue to get better. And mm-hmm. uh, I'm excited for him. Uh, he's a great person, great player. And yeah, if he, if he ends up here, he's a uh, – He's going to be all right. Yeah. Giants fans should be happy. Well, he, knows, he knows what you're fishing at there, Barbara. Hey. Well, listen, uh, it's amazing. And uh, listen, aside from the obvious part that you're playing for your hometown team, you're playing for one of our teams, the other best part is that you hate the Patriots as much as we hate the Patriots. <laughs> you tell me you hate that team, right? 
Uh, I'm not going to get into that right now. Uh, no, wait, 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 hold the stop. Wait, stop, Barber. Step aside for 30 seconds. Take this is the my high jet road. guy. Hold, Take don't the high don't road. listen to this guy. Take the high road, listen Jeremy. to me. Don't listen to don't him, Jeremy. Don't be influenced by him. Listen to me. Stay to your roots. You're a Jets fan. Your pops would probably love to snap a, you know. Yeah, ask him, ask him to answer that question. I will. Me. You hate the Patriots. We know it. You know it. If you don't want to say it, I'll say it for you. Ruckert hates the Patriots. Period. All right, dude. Now we'll let you off the hook. Yeah. But let's not change just because you got drafted now, buddy. I'm, I'm messing with you, man. Hey, kind of. Uh, not really. Hey, Rock, good luck to you, man. We're, we'll be watching. I'm, I actually live in Florida Park. We'll be out there for okay. training camp. Doing so some I'll, shows. So I'll see you over there as well. No Glad to have you here, man. And good luck to you. No, thank you guys for having me on. Appreciate awesome. It. You guys. Appreciate what a great you. story. You know, his dad's obviously a huge fan. Like, And Jeremy was telling us how his dad had the big white decal, the helmet on mm-hmm. the top. Imagine if he got drafted by the Dolphins or the Pats. <laughs> you know, know, he's obviously rooting for his son, but yeah. I guarantee that that helmet's yeah. not on the hood. No, you're right. I mean, his dad is Think, a crazy Jets fan. Things change. Like old Jet fans. Things change when the loyalties of your of your of your kids yep. go, go elsewhere. No, I get it. 877-337-6666. 